Hi, my name is Hector with Lorek Flow Meters, and today we will go over the settings on your paddle wheel flow meter. Once your paddle wheel flow meter is connected, you will see the home screen, which will be in bright green. Down here, you will see flow rate. Down here will be the units being measured by. Up here, it will show a 000, which will actually be your flow rate. And down here on the bottom right hand corner is your setup button. First, we will do a general overview. Then we will go in detail of all the options available to you. So let's begin. First, press enter. You will see, you will notice a bright orange screen. And this bright orange screen will always be displayed when you're setting up your paddle wheel flow meter. Now, let's go over every subcategory under these main categories. Now under option A, you will see measure. If you click the enter button, you will see A01. This is your pipe type. Under pipe type, you can select enter again, and it will give you options on the size of your pipe. So to go back and forth, you will simply use these arrows. So I will choose the forward arrow. You have scale mode, two inch, three quarters inch, and back to one inch. Now, this is one of our first devices that was manufactured, so we only have limited sizes on this uh, flow meter. But on your flow meter, you will have more size options. Now, to go back, you simply click the back button, which is this blue one, and then you will see you will go back to the A01. Now, if you click the arrow, you see A02, which is scales factor. So here, you can fine tune your flow volume in proportion. So if you click on it, it will be the default value of one. Now let's go back. Now we click the arrow, let's go to A03, which is your anti-noise option. When you click enter, you have the option of either turning it on or turn it off. Then you will click set, save, etc. A04 is damping. So what this does, it decreases the fluctuation of data. So when you click enter, here you will see a default is five seconds. On the right side, you will here you will see the minus sign. You can simply click on that. You can go as low as zero seconds if you like. And on the left arrow button, you can you will see the plus sign here. You simply click on it, and it has it does not have a maximum value that you can go to. You can go as high as you want. Awesome, right? And don't forget to save. Save or not. Yes, we do. And voila. Direction. So with the direction option, you can exchange the flow direction. The default will always be normal. So here you can click enter and you have your options inverse and normal. Simply set, save, and you go back to the main screen. A06, which is your negative flow it gives you the option to reverse the flow volume. The default will always be on. You simply click enter, on or off. Set, save, okay. A07, this option allows you to measure the flow speed under 0.30 meters per second. Now, as some of our paddle wheel flow meter users will know, is that that is one of the differentiators from our product to other paddle wheel flow meters that our paddle wheel flow meter can measure flow ranges as low as 0.15 meters per second. So you simply just click enter and you can choose on or off. Set, save, okay. And then you simply click escape one time and you can go to the main option menu. 